Yo, in this video, I'm gonna show you my 10 favorite shirts. I got like over 150 football shirts. Is that a lot? That's a lot. So it's kind of hard to pick 10 you really like. You'll see that these 10 shirts kind of represent the style of football shirts I like. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first one is the pre Man 1516 third shirt. It's also called the Dark Light shirt. This is one of the first shirts that really got me into collecting football shirts. It's not just an ordinary all black football football shirt but it's got some very cool details in the sponsor for example there's a kind of pattern in there just like in the nike swoosh and in the pretty sentiment logo the qmb sleeve sponsor on the left sleeve kind of has the same style and it looks a bit silverish which creates a very cool effect in my opinion the best part is probably the back the pink name set which looks absolutely outstanding when i first saw this in 2015 i couldn't believe my eyes because the combination of an all black Black shirt with such an eye-catching pink name set is absolutely stunning. This one has got Matuidi on the back, a solid midfielder who won the World Cup in 2018 with the French national team. And we got the Burrito sponsor on there as well. It's even got the champions patch of the Ligue 1 on the right sleeve very nice this shirt is really special to me because when i started collecting football shirts i couldn't find the shirt anywhere like literally anywhere i've been looking for the shirt for probably four years and i finally found it this is also one of the shirts that characterizes the start of my football shirt collection so a very special one the second shirt is the real madrid 1516 away shirt in long sleeve version and yes another shirt from the 15-16 season because this really was the season when i started collecting football shirts this shirt really caught my attention because it's all gray it kind of looks like a pajama some people say and it's got neon green yellow stripes on the shoulders the cool thing about all their adidas templates is that the stripes kind of continue onto the lower part of the sleeve which is very cool in case of long sleeve shirts. On the back, I had to get Ronaldo number seven, not only because the style of this name set, so the font looks very nice, but also because Ronaldo was in his prime during this season. This shirt reminds me of his amazing goal versus AS Roma in the Champions League. And it also reminds me of the season in which they won the Undecima, so their 11th Champions League title. I expect Real Madrid long sleeve shirts with Ronaldo on the back to be very popular in the future because Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest football players ever and he was definitely in his prime at Real Madrid. The combination of this unique design and the amazing player on the back make this shirt one of my favorite shirts of my collection. Shirt number three is the Borussia Dortmund New Neon limited edition kit from the 2021 season. This one is very nice because its design has got a very clear reference to the 90s. Borussia Dortmund shirts in the 90s, especially home shirts, got this neon yellow collar, which you see on this shirt as well. The shirt has got this beautiful old school Puma logo on there and even the Bundesliga patch on the right sleeve has been adapted to the design of the shirt because it's usually red. On the left sleeve we got the Opel sponsor. On the back I had to get Marco Royce number 11 because he's been so loyal to Borussia Dortmund. He's been at the club since 2012 if I'm right, which is a very long time. If we take a look at the style of the name set, we can also see that it is inspired by the 90s. Especially the nice depth effect in the number 11 looks very cool and the way Dortmund is written on the back of the name also reminds me of the 90s. You know, I didn't watch football in the 90s, but I just know what shirts looked like back in the days. <laughs> I'm not that old, guys. The shirt has also got a very nice pattern of some legendary Borussia Dortmund players in the background. This is an example of a detail that really counts when rating a football shirt. The shirt even came in this beautiful box, which looks very nice on itself as well. So yeah, a very special shirt for me because of its design, the player on the back, and I also really like Borussia Dortmund. The fourth one is the art Argentina 2022 away shirt. You know, many people prefer the home shirt over the away shirt because Argentina won the World Cup in their home shirt. But in my opinion, the away shirt is way nicer. In one of my last videos, I said that I really like purple and pink shirts. The flames in different shades of purple make this shirt look wonderful. Just like the silverish Argentina team crest and the Adidas logo on the other side. We got some very nice light purple Adidas stripes on the shoulders. And the number 10 has got 
the same metallic color as the logos. On the back, I got Messi number 10, a very nice name set. We also really like this sun on the back of the shirt, which is also being featured in the flag of Argentina. I think this shirt is unique because of the use of different shades of purple and the metallic colors of the logos and name sets. I got the heat ready version of the shirt, which means that it's the player version. You can also see this if you take a look at the material of the shirt. It's just softer with nice small ventilation holes. So yeah, this shirt is definitely a beauty. Shirt number five is the Ajax 2018-2019 away shirt. This away shirt characterizes their amazing Champions League campaign in the 18-19 season. They managed to beat big teams like Real Madrid and Juventus wearing this away shirt. And to be completely honest, this is not even my favorite Adidas template, but the memories I get when I look at this shirt are absolutely beautiful because I clearly remember Ajax reaching the semis wearing this beautiful away shirt. The shirt on itself is basically all black with some white details and a light brown surface in the shoulder area. On the back, I got Daria Fico, number 31. He used to be one of my favorite players at Ajax. He plays at Lyon at this moment. He's also from Argentina. We got the three crosses on there as well. And a finishing touch, in my opinion, are the Champions League patches on both sleeps. You know, nowadays they use the modern Champions League badges, but a few years ago these older ones were used on the sleeves and they look very good in my opinion. I actually really like the color of the name set because it doesn't exactly match with the upper part of the shirt, but these two colors kind of give the same vibe in my opinion. This shirt has become really rare, especially with all the sleeve patches and official name set. So I'm really glad I got this one in my collection. That's why I included it in my top 10 as well. I just got very nice memories when I see this shirt. Shirt number six is the Paris Saint-Germain 1819 Black Jordan shirt. This was the first season Paris Saint-Germain and Jordan collaborated and they kind of got the best of two worlds. You know, we all recognize the Jordan logo and it just goes really well together with the Paris Saint-Germain logo, in my opinion. We got a nice white stripe in the middle of the shirt that gets interrupted by the Fly Emirates sponsor. The shirt also has Champions League patches on both of the sleeves. And on the back, probably the best part of the shirt is the name set. I got Mbappé because I'm a big fan of Mbappé. I got quite some of his shirts, but the name set on this shirt is absolutely beautiful. It looks so bold and eye-catching on this all-black shirt. And over here you can clearly see the influence of basketball shirts. Also, this stripe on the back of the shirt looks very nice. I got the Vapenit version of the shirt, which means that it is the player version. So the logos on the shirt are all heat pressed onto the shirt. It's even still got the tags on there. Something I really like about this shirt is that it is very clean. It just uses basic colors, but that's what makes it look fancy. And the bold Mbappé name set on the back is just a finishing touch, just like the Champions League patches on the sleeves. Shirt number seven is the Juventus 1516 away shirt. This shirt has become very popular after Drake posted a picture on Instagram of him wearing this shirt. And like I said before, I really like pink shirts. And the colors used on this shirt are so eye-catching. Like it's all pink with some nice black details on the shoulders and if you look closely you can see that the sleeve cuffs kind of got the same color as the stripe in the middle of the sponsor you know when it comes to patches this shirt is also very complete we got the scudetto and coppa italia patch just as the champs league patches on the sleeves on the back i got dibala number 21 his first season at Juventus. You know, this season and 16-17 season were probably his prime seasons at Juventus. But I got nice memories of the 15-16 season when Dybala played together with Pogba and before Dybala switched to number 10. I don't know if I said this before, but I really like it when big players got like more uncommon numbers on their shirts. And this is a perfect example. At this moment, Dybala plays at AS Roma and he switched back to his old number 21. This shirt has also become very rare and I'm really happy I got it with one of the star players on the back. Shirt number eight has got to be my favorite Real Madrid home shirt. It's the 1516 home shirt in long sleeve version. A few minutes ago, I showed you the away shirt of that season, but I just really like the Adidas template of that season. This shirt has got beautiful light gray stripes on the shoulders that continue all the way down to the sleeve cups. This shirt has got the embroidered La Liga patch on the right sleeve as well as the FIFA World Champions patch in the middle of the shirt. Now a patch like this always makes the shirt look more complete in my opinion and you can kind of guess it but I got 
Ronaldo number seven on the back. This name set, just like on the away shirt, has got a very really nice depth effect in the number. So it makes it look very stylish in my opinion. And this shirt is basically all white with some dark gray details like the Fly Emirates sponsor has the same color as Ronaldo name set on the back. The fact that this shirt is so simple, just like the pre Saint-Germain Jordan shirt, makes it look so classy. And then again, this shirt also reminds me of Prime Real Madrid when they won their 11th Champions League title. They would even win the Champions League three consecutive times. So in 2016, they won the Champions League and this shirt, they will also win it in 2017 and 2018. So it was not only a very crazy period football-wise, but also football shirt-wise, because I love Real Madrid shirts from these years. Shirt number nine, it's the FC Barcelona 2021 away shirt. A very nice black shirt with golden details. For example, the Rakuten sponsor and the Biko sleeve sponsor are gold, just like the FC Barcelona team crest and the Nike swoosh. The shirt has got a La Liga patch on the right sleeve. Even still got the tags on it because I don't wear my shirts, like I said before. This is a Vapenet version as well. So the material is a bit different. It's a player version. On the back, we got a beautiful golden Messi number 10 name set. This is a player version name set as well because it's got small holes in the numbers. I really think black and golden shirts are a vibe so this beauty is no exception. This was also Messi's last season at Barcelona which makes it even more special. Very happy with this beautiful stylish shirt. And last but not least shirt number 10 Paris Saint-Germain 2021 fourth shirt. I already told you that I'm a big fan of purple and pink shirts so I had to include this shirt in my top 10. It's another Paris Saint-Germain Jordan collaboration shirt which I'm a big fan of. This shirt has got this nice graffiti spray effect in pink and purple colors. This shirt is also the Vapenet version and I really think it looks better because the logos are not embroidered but he pressed onto the shirt. We got the QMB sleeve sponsor and the champions badge of the Ligue 1 on the other sleeve. On the back, of course, I got Mbappé number seven. I actually got this shirt with Neymar on the back as well, but I wanted to include Mbappé because I'm a bigger fan of Mbappé. This name set is also kind of special because it's got this shiny effect in it. A very eye-catching shirt, but that's exactly what I like about purple or pink shirts. Those were my top 10 football shirts for my collection. I hope you like them. You can always suggest me videos in the comment section down below. Hope to see you next time.